Ah, hello. Didn't see you there. I reckon you've come to see the Battle of Bunker Hill history film. I'm here to talk about Peter Salem, a hero at the Battle of Bunker Hill, in which I fought beside him. Now, let me take you back here a few days ago when the battle actually took place. My God, it's our reinforcements. How have you been holding up so far? Not very well. Well, it'll be all over soon. Think so? All we can do is hope. This will be tougher than I thought. Fire! <laughs> Even though the Americans technically lost the battle of Bunker Hill, Peter Salem did something incredible, showing that America, black Americans can still fight. By him killing a British major. A major. Shortly after, George Washington would issue that black Americans can fight after Phyllis Wheatley would write poems and letters to him explaining why black Americans should fight. After Crispus Attacus died in the Boston Massacre, black Americans felt like they had a right to fight in the war because he was buried with the white people he died with. And black Americans thought, hey, if he was, he was murdered for nothing, he was just protesting. So that kind of fueled black Americans and Americans in general to fight. Not much is known about Peter Salem's early life, except that he was born into slavery in Massachusetts, and during his late teens, Peter Salem would um, join the American Revolution to fight for his freedom after his master said that he could fight for his freedom if he went. And Peter Salem served in the army for five through eight years. Eventually, he was honorably discharged and given his freedom during the later years of the war. And he moved back to Massachusetts, where he lived till the 1820s. And... He was an excellent marksman. I hope you enjoyed. So that is how Please he got tell me the if you learned anything. Kill and for the so major. Now, questions? I mean, on the major, I mean. <laughs>